apparently she's posted some stuff like that's um, saying stuff about me, Heather and, Chris and Chriselle not, not saying anything about her pregnancy, which isn't true. I'm so happy we're getting two more seasons of Selling Sunset. What can you tell me about series four? Oh, well, I think you guys are going to see a lot more just gorgeous, gorgeous real estate. Um, probably some some pretty uh, big deals that are going to happen. We've got some things in the pipeline. Um, uh, Christine is having a baby. Um, Heather's getting married. Um, Romaine and I are moving into this new house and planning to make some uh, like property investments. And Jason, what about you? What do you what do you have? Uh, still single. <laughs> Shocker. Spoiler. Well, coronavirus, uh, it's not the best time to be going on dates. Oh, no, it's oh, right. by the way, oh, yeah, new, though. We're we're opening up a new office in Newport Beach. Mary, how are you and Romaine? Well, uh, we're great, except I don't see him very much because he's actually the one doing uh, uh, building out that office. And so he's down in Orange County quite a bit. Um, so, um, we're both, we're just working a lot. Um, but we're, we're amazing. Um, we're super happy. Just can't wait to, to be able to see each other more, which I don't know if that's going to happen, but since we're going to start filming pretty soon, <laughs> it's just going to add more to our plate. But, um, but yeah, we're, we're very happy. I love seeing the pictures of both of you. You just look so content and wholesome together. Oh, thank you. It's really, really sweet to see. Um, and I know that you've spoken um, about freezing your eggs before. Have yeah. you and Romaine like had more conversations about having kids? Is that something that we're going to see more of in season four? I don't know what our plan is going forward. It wouldn't be for a couple of years, I don't think, because we're just enjoying our time together and enjoying this whole experience with Selling Sunset and, and just being newlyweds. So... Um, I think we're just focusing on that right now and then, you know, just enjoying our life together and then we'll freeze the embryos. So it, that option's there if we ever want it. Um, but that would be up to him if it's super important to him. To me, I, I would only be um, doing it because I don't want him to miss out on that experience. But I don't feel like I personally need another child to make myself content. Obviously, you're already a mum. I feel like he would make an amazing dad. Oh, Romain would be the most incredible dad. Yeah, he really would. That that part doesn't concern me at all. Um, I think with anybody else, it probably, uh, it probably would. But Romain would be so incredible. And Christine's obviously having a baby. Uh, Jason, how extra do you think she'll be as a mom? I'm quite interested in how she balances that. To be honest, I, I mean, I'm just, I want to meet the kid, and I just want to see how that goes. But I mean, you know, she's got a lot of love, and I think it'll go well. Um, but I don't think anyone can prepare for, for that. You know, that's just overwhelming. I mean, Mary, you know more than I do, but. Yeah. Well, uh, she's got, she'll, uh, Christian has enough money that she'll have plenty of help. So at first I, I was just like, Ooh, she's in for a rude awakening. <laughs> um, but I, I think she'll handle it well. I think it, hopefully it'll ground her. Um, and, 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 um, I, I think it'll make her. Uh, like it does most people a better a better person um where you focus on on um another being and and i think it just changes your mindset a bit so i'm, I'm sure christine will always be extra but i personally think even if publicly she is still super over the top i think personally it'll probably ground her a little bit more i can't wait to see how she dresses that baby oh <laughs> oh that'll be extra that, a thousand percent, that'll be extra. Christine went into the whole group and was like mimicking you. <laughs> wow. Christine has really revealed her true colors. Mary, how are you and Christine at the moment? Because I think I was reading that you haven't, you haven't kind of spoken as much. And obviously the, the end of last season, you weren't on the best of terms. But how are things now? It, for me, they're, they're fine. Um, I, you know, we don't talk that much. Um, we both have just quarantines kept everybody apart. And, and I reached out to her right after season three aired um, to try to connect and help her with a, an issue that she was having trouble with. Um, and was kind of upset about and I could relate to it. So I reached out to her. We had a very good talk, um, tried to hash out some of the things that happened um, previously to 
to figure out where it all went wrong and where we were both hurt by things that have happened. And it went well. Um, we haven't really talked that much since, um, but I did reach out to her, sent her a voice um, memo um, or like a voice text um, saying, you know, how happy I am for her and for her pregnancy. I saw it like through the media, but, um, but I heard it was, it was true and, and I'm so happy for her. Congratulations. And let me know if there's anything I can do for her or, or whatever. And so she just said, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know how we, I, I, in my opinion, we're okay. Apparently she's posted some stuff like that's um, saying something about me, Heather and, Chris, and Chriselle not, not saying anything about her pregnancy, which isn't true. But um, so I don't know how she feels, but I'm, I'm personally okay with her. Always drama. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Jason, you're always getting into trouble for treating Mary as the favorite, everyone likes to say. Is Jason giving Mary another listing? Favoritism at its best. Have you been accused of that in series four as well? Well, Mary is my favorite, so. <laughs> but I also, but he doesn't just hand me listings either, though. No, I just uh, give her all of her listings. I don't think I've, well, I'm sure people will say stuff, but uh, but it's same as always, which is that Mary is the most productive in the office. So, of course, we're going to work together the most. I mean, he would be a terrible, because he's also an agent, and he's just not going to just hand out his clients to everybody. Um, that why would he? It's it's their job to procure their own clients. So um, you should you should lead the next team meeting, Mary. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> well, Me- I'll take over when you're down in OC. I'll take over. Yeah, the girls will you? That. They're like, uh-huh. see. see, see it. <laughs> I will. I'm gonna purposely leave you in charge in front of everybody. <laughs> I'm like I'm out, Mary. You're in charge. You come sit at my desk. <laughs> I should do that one time when they come in. I'm like, girls, take a seat. Come on, stop talking. Me and my mum do always say in fairness that we think that you are the hardest worker, Mary. Oh, thank you. I I like to think that I am. Um, I think there's another girl in the office, Nicole, that um, she she is another agent. Yeah, you and Nicole are the two hardest. She works very hard too. And I need to know, what's the latest with the $75 million house? What's going on? Nothing. Yeah, nothing, like I told you. <laughs> no. You were right all along, Jason. 60 is out of question. What am I supposed to tell him? It's embarrassing. I can't say that to a client. This is a make or break deal. And the show's obviously been such a huge success. Is there anyone who's fangirled over the show that has taken you by surprise? Sam uh, Hugan or something from, I don't know if I'm saying it right, from Outlander. I was like the biggest, uh, like I was obsessed with that show. And I was laying in bed with Romaine and he knows like I'm, we were both watching the show together and and he deemed me. He's like, shut up, because I posted something about how much I love the show. He's like, shut up. I just watched your show, too. And I was like, oh, my God, Romaine. Oh, my God. I was like, he just he just DM me. I was so excited. He was like, uh, slow down, slow down. He was a nice guy, super respectful, um, just said like he loved our show and, and he was happy that I loved his show. So, um, yeah, it was a it was a probably the first time I've ever really like, like got super excited because I was just obsessed with the show at the time. Maybe you could show him around some properties. I think so, yeah. I, I told him if whenever he's ready and able to come over here, I'll, I'll sell him a house. Yeah, I'm sure Romain will love that. Uh, <laughs> oh, very confident, he'll be fine. And I would never do anything to disrespect Romain. Well, I can't wait for series four and five. Um, and huge congratulations on the success of the show. I know everyone is so excited for more. Thank you.